Here's the follow-up video to my V-Skill 2 guide, the comprehensive guide for Akuma's V-Trigger 2. Akuma's V-Trigger 2 has always been quite strong, just a bit overshadowed by the sheer utility and strength of V-Trigger 1. It's gotten buffed both directly and indirectly over the past few years, and as it is right now, I personally think it's climbed the ranks of viability and sits in a good spot for competitive use. I'll be breaking down what the trigger does and how to effectively use it, how to strategize with it, and against it. V-Trigger 2 allows Akuma to cancel special moves into one another, as well as affording most of his heavy normals the ability to cancel into a special move, all at the expense of V-Gauge rather than EX meter. With this added cancel ability, Akuma can really ramp up his pressure and offense, significantly magnify the damage and advantage from hit confirms, and turn even normal combos into bombs while harder hitting combos become nukes. All of those points are fairly front-facing and clear strengths, but there are more benefits that might not be as obvious. V-Trigger 2 cancels can greatly boost his EX meter build on block and hit, Otherwise unsafe block strings and attacks can become safe or even plus on block. Wake up EXDP becomes much scarier. And due to the two bar nature of the V trigger, you can more liberally resort to V reversals or V shifts while still likely getting trigger again. With those upsides, there are downsides to choosing this option over V trigger 1. No hard knockdown off of a V trigger DP. No double air fireball to force offense. And of course, no access to Raging Demon. When picking Akuma's V-Trigger 2, you need to be much more mindful of your resources and how you spend them. With Trigger activated, you are allotted 3 cancels before your bar runs out. Keep in mind, different cancels have different durations of time from startup to recovery. This means you'll need to study the best way to utilize your meter for maximum efficiency. Furthermore, which type of meter you decide to use matters. Typically, if you choose EX Gauge as your special move before canceling into VT2 follow-ups, your combo will do more damage and stun. If you decide to immediately start with trigger specials, your combo might scale a bit more, but it typically affords more juggle potential and conserves your EX meter for wake-up reversal or critical art. Aside from the obvious benefit of big burst damage from picking V-Trigger 2, another huge upside is the way it forces chip damage and plus frames on your opponent. This comes in the form of his VT-EX Red Fireball. Due to the cancelability when in trigger, you can force your opponent to hold a real block string that leaves you plus 8 and right next to them in the corner. Mid-screen, you can still achieve this with a slight modification to the block string, still ending in frame advantage. With that kind of frame advantage, the opponent is likely to feel pressed defensively. EX Red Fireball using V-Gauge or EX Meter is always plus 8. It also has a really cheap side effect. The opponent cannot V-Reversal during the attack, only after it's recovered. This means you can always throw it on reaction. If they try and press a button or use a reversal, you can counter hit them for huge damage. This strategy is especially scary because it means your opponent has to consider three harsh options. Sacrifice V-Gauge and their comeback mechanic in the hope they reset back to neutral, take a significant amount of chip damage and pressure which could lead to a harder hitting throw or a deadly shimmy, try and press to interrupt an approach from you and risk getting counter hit or worse. Lastly, there are a few more strong strategies that hold prominence with this V-Trigger choice. The first is its ability for a true block string chip kill which has been around since its addition to Street Fighter V. With full resources, VT2 Akuma has some of the highest damage chip kill potential in the game without any gaps. Another is more recent in its development, and it's a true 50-50 that can be great to end rounds or guarantee stun. The most recent changes to V-Trigger 2 and the ability to cancel into normal versions of specials in sequence, not just the EX version, Akuma now has a very deadly high-low mix-up that can be a true guess. With the right timing, he can cancel from the V-Trigger EX Red Fireball into a normal demon flip, and the opponent has to guess whether it's a grab or a palm. The palm will beat a meterless reversal and a crouching opponent, but will lose to EX uppercut. The demon flip throw will beat a button, an anti-air uppercut, and a standing opponent, but will lose to the right reversal.
Finally, Akuma now has more opportunity for high damage attacks that give him Oki, where he didn't get it before. When fighting against V-Trigger 2 Akuma, it's important to know your options to best mitigate the pressure and fear of big damage. It's very common for practitioners of this loadout to try cheeky sequences that are more easily dealt with than they might appear. All fireball cancels into VT EX Demon Flip are interruptible unless they come after an EX Red Fireball. If Akuma is setting up to force advantage against you, V-reversing or V-shifting early in their string can afford you some breathing room to reassess the situation or even punish their attempt. Akuma remains a strong character with a lot of versatility and expression at his disposal. V-Trigger 2 really amplifies that in a remarkable way, offering a significant breadth of combo routes, pressure and mix-up sequences, and newfound Oki anywhere on the screen. Although it's not without weakness, I truly believe this trigger choice has provable merit and offers a great deal of fulfillment and strength when used correctly. I hope this video helps you better understand how to use it and inspires you. Please like, comment, and subscribe to help my channel continue to grow. Thank you.